Verse 35 in chapter 19 of Acts reads, The city clerk quieted the crowd and said, Men of Ephesus, doesn't all the world know that the city of Ephesus is the guardian of the temple of the great Artemis and her image which fell from heaven? Therefore, since these facts are undeniable, you ought to be quiet and not do anything rash. You have brought these men here, though they have neither robbed temples nor blasphemed our goddess. If then Demetrius and his fellow craftsmen have a grievance against anybody, the courts are open and there are proconsuls. They can press charges. So here is Alexander, and he is a Jew, and they have special rules for this Jew, as he is the head of many of the people in this area. And he has to be the one to address all of these hostile people. He knows Paul. We've seen that he's actually a friend of Paul. And he has to make a choice if he's going to step up and stand up for his friend. He's going to make a choice and choose who it is that he believes in at this time. Over 99% of the people are against him. And there's only a few people that know what the way means. And it shows here that the friendship that Paul had with this guy that wasn't even a believer meant so much that he was willing to put his life on the line. Why? Because they chose Christ. And in choosing Christ, they chose to live in such a way that their life was different. We'll finish up the story tomorrow, but tonight, would you ask yourself, can you or would you do this if you were Alexander? Think about that, and we'll finish up with the way tomorrow.